Hi, I'm Laura Wilson of iBrandBoost.com. In this video, I'm going to talk about productivity for online business owners. Now, here's the problem, and I'm sure you can relate to this. We work online, um, there's an endless array of distractions, primarily things like Facebook, YouTube, social media, um, emails, as well as phone calls and all the rest of the hassle that we get on a day-to-day -day basis. I believe that this is one of the reasons why 90% of online businesses fail in the first few years. So here's my three big tips for being productive and staying focused and getting your work done when working online. Okay, so number one is shut down Facebook. So stay off of Facebook. Yes, I hear you say, you know, I need to use Facebook for my business. I do. I need to update my groups, um, pages, and do some technical stuff online on Facebook. It's a good marketing tool. So I'm aware of this. But number one, maybe you should outsource that. Or number two, get what you need to do done and then get off of Facebook and stay off of Facebook. It's so tempting when we're in the middle of doing something and then we get distracted, bored, procrastinate, can't think, mental block or whatever, oh, I'll just check Facebook. Before you know it, you're reading some post about, oh, you know, I went for a wee today and it was um, it was really dark yellow or whatever. I don't know, I'm just making up a load of rubbish now. But um, you know what it's like. You can be sucked in by Facebook and then you start answering messages and um, posting status updates and then you're checking back to see how many people have checked your status update or commented and then you're commenting back... It's just a complete time suck, time warp. So get off of Facebook. I like this quote, which says that environment is stronger than the will. So on the topic of Facebook, instead of trying to use your willpower to stay off of Facebook, use, there's a couple of good apps that I recommend you use to uh, make the environment do it for you so you've got no choice, okay? So I use an app called, well there's two apps that I use, one is called um, Self Control and this is for Mac, I think there's a uh, Windows equivalent, it's free, it's a simple little app um, for your desktop, you install it and it simply says how long do you want to block a domain for, so you go in, type the domains that you want to block, so Facebook, YouTube, whatever, whatever other sites take your time and distract you from your work and then you set a time to block that site, so I want to stay off of Facebook for four hours and then you click authenticate and then you type in your password and then it will keep you off Facebook as in it will, won't allow you to go on that site for that specified period of time. You can shut down your computer, you can shut down the app and when you log back on you still won't be able to go on Facebook. So bear this in mind, if you need to use Facebook for something specific in business, you won't be able to get back on it. But it's good, it's free, it's simple, it's, it's a good tool, so go and download that. Um, also, I use an app called Concentrate. Again, this is for desktop and it's for Macs. I think it's about $30. There's a window, lots of Windows equivalents, um, things like Rescue Time, and there's a whole plethora of these type of um, applications. Concentrate will not only block a site for a period of time, it will do things like it will shut down your email, it will um, open applications. So say you want to do a 50-minute concentrated period of time on your finances and accounting, say, then it can open up, you can set it to open up Excel, your accounting software, um, and close down the internet, and it might open your online banking accounts. So it, it will do all these things, and then it will play, you can set it to play a noise at the end, at the beginning, or so it's more versatile, you've got more options. So that's concentrate. Okay, now my third big productivity tip is... Um, work with your body's natural, what's called ultradian rhythm. You may have heard of the body's circadian rhythm, which is our body clock, which over 24 hours our body has this natural rhythm of, you know, high energy, low energy, things like producing uh, melatonin at night when we're shutting down. So we have this internal body clock. Well, we've got a mini version of that as well, which is called the ultradian rhythm. And that, um, the premise behind that is that we work in constant, um, the body can only concentrate, I think this is the, the kind of crux of it, we can only concentrate on one specific thing and give maximum productivity and thought and focus 
for a period of 40 to 50 minutes. So what does that mean for our work day? Well, it means that whoever invented the eight hour work day where you work four hours, have a lunch break in the middle and then um, work another four, didn't really get it right. And I think that's exemplified by just looking around. I mean, certainly in the public sector jobs that I've had in the past, you know, most people are stood around chatting and it's not as if they're working concentratedly for eight hours. Have you ever sat there for eight hours and worked solidly without getting distracted, without not focusing on, you know, doing other things? No. Who has? Now, also, who's to say that, you know, eight hours is the perfect time? This um, working with your body's ultradian rhythm means that you get to work less so you can leave work a lot earlier and you're going to get more done. So how does this look in uh, practical terms? So you work for 50 minutes and then you have a 10 minute break. In that 50 minutes, you focus on one task. So you might be writing an article, you might be answering a high level email, like putting a proposal to a client, or you might be producing a podcast, uh, an interview. Um, okay, that might be an hour, so you could go for that. But um, in general, it's gonna be 50 minutes. You might um, be designing something on your website. You might be setting up a social media account, whatever, producing a video like this. Whatever it is, you focus on one thing, or if it's administration tasks, and there's lots of them, so you have a list of the tasks you want to achieve, and you just go down them and do them for 50 minutes. So you don't go on Facebook, you don't um, get up and do anything else. You Okay, you can stop for a toilet break if you need to, quickly, and you get back to it. Now, here's the key. During that 50 minutes, 50 minutes is a long time when you actually have to sit down and just focus on one thing. So you probably will, certainly when you first start doing this, get distracted, you'll get mental blocks, you'll start procrastinating, you'll get bored. And that's that's when we tend to go and do these other things. So, oh, I'm getting bored now. Oh, I'll just check Facebook quickly. So the the key to making this work is that you don't do those things. If you come across these barriers, you simply sit back for a minute, pause for 10 seconds, 30 seconds, five minutes, look out the window, just quiet your mind or just, you know, think of the best way to deal with the situation, the, the stumbling block you've come across or just let it go. But then the point is you stay there, you don't do anything else and then you bring your attention back to it. Okay, so say you're writing a chapter in a book, you know, you're going to come across, you might come across writer's block, you can't think of the next sentence to say. Okay, just take five minutes, and then come back to it. Or, you could simply just force yourself to carry on writing, so I've got writer's block, I've done the best thing to say, just write anyway, and then you can edit it afterwards. So, 50 minutes concentrating on one thing, um, you're not allowed to do anything else, after that 50 minutes, you have a 10 minute break. So it's good to use a little timer, you, you know, there's a free time as you can get for your computer or just, you know, use a stopwatch or whatever. On your phone, you've got a stopwatch, I'm sure. So that 10 minutes, it's important to get up, get away from your computer, don't sit, don't go on Facebook and do something, you know, similar to the work that you've just been doing or in the same environment. Get up, stretch, go and have a drink of water, go and use the bathroom go for a walk, have a small snack, but it's 10 minutes. So after that 10 minutes, you bring yourself back to your desk and you work for another 50 minutes. So 50 minutes on, 10 minutes off. 50 minutes on, 10 minutes off. You do two of those, and then after this two hour period, you have a full one hour break. So this could be your lunch break, go outside, you know, phone some friends, go meet, meet up with some friends, do some exercise, you have a one hour break. Then you do another 250 minutes. So 50 minutes, 10, 50 minutes, 10, and then guess what? You leave, you finish your work. So your working day is four hours. Now, four hours, <laughs> you might be saying, I can't do that. Well, I'm assuming that you're running your own online business so you can choose your own hours. Um, you're, by doing it this way, so say you work um, 10 to three with your hour in the middle, now that's amazing working 10 to 3 so you've got the morning to do something you've got the whole afternoon or you know mid afternoon onwards to evening to do something completely different so your working day is 10 to 3 in those four 50 minute focus sessions i guarantee you're going to get more done than if you were to sit there from 9 to 5 
or even longer, you know, eight or six or whatever, working the way you normally do. So it's going to stop you keep checking back your email. It's going to stop you just, oh, texting your friends. It's going to stop you going on Facebook. It's going to stop you getting distracted by videos on YouTube. It's going to eliminate all that crap, which means that when you're sat in front of your computer, you are working. And when you're not working, you're getting up and doing something different. This also has good health implications. It's not good to be sat for eight hours in front of this computer screen. Our computer screens are emitting all sorts of... Um, EMF, electromagnetic frequency, like radiation. It's not good for your health to be sat. Also, ergonomically, sitting down is not a natural state for, for humans to be in all day. Um, so you want to be getting away up and from your computer as much as possible. How tempting is it? How easy is it when you're working for yourself in online business to be sat at home, to be sat slumped on the couch, maybe even, um, doing work up till three o'clock in the morning? You know, I've been there, done it. We all have in online business. So this is a fantastic way. And I learned this from Eben Pagan in his Wake Up Productive program. I think it was that one, uh, This following this old tradium rhythm model. And it works. <laughs> Trust me, it works. You're going to get so much done in that four hours. Now, if you're super productive and your time is super leveraged and you've got people working for you, go for two hours. Do a 50-minute 10, 50-minute 10, and then off you go. <laughs> Enjoy the rest of your day. The four-hour work week, right? You know, see how it goes. So that's my tips for you. So just to recap, number one, stay off of Facebook. Number two, to aid you to stay off of Facebook and all the other distracting sites, use the apps either self-control or concentrate or the Windows equivalent. Just check them out online. Productivity tools, productivity software, you'll find something. Um, and number three is work with your body's old trading rhythm in a 50-10, 50-10, one hour break, 50-10, 50-10, work day. So go and apply it. Apply it for a week and see, see what happens. So do you already do this? Do you have any other productivity tips that, um, you know, that are useful to you? Let me know. Leave a comment below the video um, or the blog. And uh, yeah, I'd love to hear from you. So thank you for watching. Now, if you want more video tips, I've got a free online business mastery video training series, which are four videos, high quality content videos, about 30 minutes each, which shows you exactly what an online business is, how to generate, there's an amazing little traffic tool tip strategy in there. Um, talks about setting up your website um, to make it a cash generating machine rather than a money and time sucking big behemoth of a thing so check out my online business mastery free course at ibramboost.com and i'll see you in the next video